Okay, hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this one, we're going to be showing you how you can set up a new employee in MyOb. Now there is a new function, you can see up here, employee self onboarding. We're not talking about that in this video. We're gonna show you how you can set it up yourself and or if you use the employee self onboarding, if you have to go into the settings and make some adjustments. So this is the traditional old school way of setting up staff, but it's good to know how the settings work anyway in case you need to make adjustments if your employee has made an error with their self onboarding or if you just need to change something in the way their employee card file is configured. All right, so what we have, when a new employee starts, you've generally got your tax file number declaration here. Here, they are, here we have it, they've filled it out. We've got your super form, superannuation standard choice form that they've filled out. And we've also got an extra form for a few missing details that isn't always recorded on the other forms. So we've got three forms in total that we're going to set up. Okay, so what we do, we go into the card file, not into payroll, but into the card file, card list. We go to employee and we're going to go new. So here we have a pop-up regarding employee self onboarding. We're going to skip that because we're going to set it up ourselves. So now we start filling in some of the details. Last name, we can grab that from the TFN form. Last name, Watts. First name, Charlie. Address, 123 Main Street in Sydney. Uh, phone number here, we can get that from our Word doc. So we're just going to copy that. Email address, that comes from the TFN form. It never used to be on there, but it is now, which is handy. So we've got charlie at roland.com. This other stuff isn't necessary. So we're going to now go to card details. Here you can put in any notes that you might have about this employee. Uh, maybe there's some details about the award they might they might be on or whatever it may be. Payroll details, date of birth. This comes from the TFN form. 2nd of June, 1941. He's been kicking for a while. Start date, start of this week being the 24th, employment basis full time, that's from the TFN form, full time employment, employment. you've also got part time, casual, and old Charlie Watts is full time. Employment category permanent. So permanent is when you're uh, when you get your leave entitlements, your sick leave and your annual leave, and paid public holidays. Temporary would be a casual. Employment classification. So here you can put in some award info if you need to do that. That's all optional. Pay slip. We'd email it, and it goes to the email address that we input in the other screen in the profile screen. All right, wages. So Charlie is going to be on an hourly rate and the hourly rate is going to be $35 an hour. Pay frequency is weekly, so you can change that depending on your pay cycle here. We're on a weekly pay cycle, hours in the week, 38. And here you go down and select the various wage types so base hourly you have to have your base hourly on that's the default standard there and ATO reporting category we're not going to worry about that for the sake of this video that's STP reporting 
And is there anything else we want to put in here? Maybe some overtime, time and a half, 1.5x. We're happy with that. Superannuation. So let's go have a look at the super form. And Charlie is with Australian Super. We're going to have to add that. Employee membership number, that's from the super form. Here we go, your member number. Let's see if we can copy that over. And Charlie is going to get the superannuation guarantee which is your standard superannuation of 10.5%. And there we see it, 10.5%. Okay. Entitlements. Now, because Charlie's a permanent full-time employee, he will get his annual leave accrual. He will get his personal leave accrual. Personal leave is your sick leave. So we're going to tick both of them. Let's just have a click in here and see what we find. So we've got the default formulas here. We're not going to play with that. But basically your annual leave is four weeks per year and your sick leave is two weeks per year. Deductions, not necessary in this case. Charlie's not part of a union, so we don't need to do anything there. And there's no other deductions that need to come out. Employer expenses, nothing there. Taxes. So here we go back to the TFN form. Put in his tax file number. This number here, the nine digit number. That should be ticked. Do you want to claim the tax free threshold? Charlie has ticked yes. And tax free threshold. Do you have a hex debt? Yes, and Australian resident. Old Charlie's been naturalised as an Australian citizen, or at least a resident for tax purposes. All right. So we need to find the option here, tax-free threshold plus STSL. That's your student loan or your hex debt. We're getting a warning here that the tax file number isn't valid. Of course, it's a fictitious number that we've just made up. So let's see if it allows us to push it through. Salary and wages for income type. Standard pay. Standard pay, 38 hours a week. This is the default that's going to come up when you process a payroll. So we're going to have Charlie doing a default of 38 hours a week with overtime zero. But if he does do overtime, we can change that in the payroll. There's going to be an annual leave accrual, which is calculated, personal leave accrual, which is calculated, as well as your pay as you go withholding, that's the tax withheld, and your super guarantee, your 10.5%. So in here, you also have an option to look at your pay history. If you want to go back and have a look at what's been done in the past for old Charlie. And payment method is going to be electronic. Bank statement text. Q Training is the name of the business that employs Charlie. And we've got to put in his bank details. So the account name is C Watts. BSB. We'll copy that. Account number, copy that. We'll get rid of that space. And we're happy. What we're going to do as well, in the notes section, we're going to put in Charlie's emergency contact. So we go back and have a look at this form here. The emergency contact is Sir Mick. And 
and I believe that should be about it. So let's have another quick look at the forms here. So we input all his info here, his contact details, we put the email in, date of birth, the employment setup, that's all done. Super, that's done. We may have to go in and set up the super in the back end with the USI, the unique superannuation identifier number, so that it correctly gets sent to the Australian Super Fund when we process the super. But I'll cover that in a different video. That's more to do with the, the super and payroll back end settings, not so much a an employee setup. And there you have it, guys. We've got our first employee setup in the card file, in the card list. You see it up here. So we can click in again if we ever need to make any edits. And then you can go across the tabs up here. In the contact log here, we can make log entries in relation to Charlie and his payroll. So you can create a note and a date. You record it and it'll show up in here. Payment details, you've got the bank. Payrolls, basically the, the nuts and bolts of it, where you input the type of employment, the pay rate, the pay types, all of that good stuff, taxes, default template, entitlements. Got the super fund, so you just work your way down. And there we go. We're going to OK out of that. Now we should be able to pick old Charlie up in the timesheets. There he is. Beauty. And from there, you can process a payroll. All right. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. It's not too hard to do, is it? But it's really good to know how to make adjustments in the back end. Because from time to time, things may change. They might move from full-time to casual or vice versa. Um, they might change a super fund, anything like that. So you need to know how to do all that stuff. The pay rates might change. And it's all done in the employee card file, card list, employee. If you want to book in a training session, head over to the link in our description. You can do that. We can come out to your office. We can do some online training, whatever you need done. We specialize in accounting software, but we work on all kinds of business software. All the Microsoft stuff, we do all that as well. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. We'll catch you later.